More Threads, a brand owned by a former teacher and Black American freedman, use their apparel and more to teach hidden truths and Black American history. More Threads will address the lack of knowledge and negative images in our community. Check out www.morethreads.com to purchase our apparel, read thought-provoking blogs, and more. Sign up to have raw conversations and wear clothing that acknowledges, celebrates, and honors our lineage at www.morethreads.com. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K. of The Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So by now, you all have been hearing a lot about what's going on in Los Angeles in regards to a few of their city council members that got caught on a recording being racist homophobic and a whole host of other things now the president well she used to be the president she stepped down from that but she didn't resign altogether from being a city council member nuri martinez was caught talking about a fellow council member's adopted son mike bonin is the council member's name and the adopted son is black and she called him a little monkey in spanish she said that i guess on a float during the mlk day that his son was out of control and everybody else had to try to discipline him and she basically said give her a couple of minutes with him and you know she would get him in line uh so that kind of sounded like she was going to be violent with somebody else's child uh and so she along with kevin de Leon, gil uh, Cedillo, and the labor federation president ron herrera they were all in this meeting. The other council members were not there for a bunch of other reasons, but they were there. They was basically talking about everybody, but they were joining in on talking about the uh, council members adopted black son. And then they also said, well, I should say it was uh, Nuri Martinez said about DA George Gascon, F him, he's with the blacks. He basically said too that he rarely sides with them in regards to other issues. and. I mean, just talking a whole bunch of junk called the uh, indigenous people there in Los Angeles ugly. Now, this whole thing started over the redistricting of the Koreatown. And they were also saying, well, it's predominantly Hispanic. So that name really doesn't fit anymore. So then again, they was talking a bunch of junk. But there's been a whole lot of protests going on at City Hall to where the, uh, they cannot even convene and take care of business because people from all over, including that of uh, Joe Biden, surprise, right? They're asking for the city council people to resign. Don't talk about taking a break like that of Nuri Martinez. She's taking a break and she's gonna discuss it with her family and they all issued apologies, but it's like, you're just sorry you got caught type of thing. But one of the people that showed up at this, uh, one of the, the very heated meetings was that of assembly member Isaac Bryan and he said this. The reason this is a hard meeting to condemn is because we heard an hour of some of the most hateful things the city has ever heard from three, four people in some of the most powerful positions in Los Angeles. People are hurting. And I'm a, I am a black adopted child, Mike, so I feel for your son. And in this moment, I'm so glad he gets to see you fighting, and I'm here to fight with him, and I'm also okay. glad that you didn't make this story about you or him. Brown political power can be rooted in black erasure, Anti-indigenous speech and homophobic speech, we deserve better. The people have called for these resignations. Elected have called for these resignations. We need these resignations before we can move forward. But trust me, there will be a healing because everybody in this room and everybody in this city wants that healing. But we can't have it without accountability. And I'm hopeful today we get that accountability. Thank you. So he basically said that brown political power cannot be rooted in black erasure and i really love that because honestly that's what it is and it's not just the brown people it's just the asian people it's the white people it's, it's a lot of people but i'm like how dare the brown people try to dog black people because it's been said a million times black people have set the blueprint for everybody coming over here to have an easier way in America, even though we haven't had an easier way, right? But they have used the blueprint of the civil rights and all that other stuff. And the other thing that's really jacked up is a lot of times our own black leaders, they don't do anything for us, but they sure put boots on the ground when it comes to the brown community. But there is the brown leaders, if you will, 
talking junk about black people and you know everybody else but i'm talking about black people they talking junk about us when we've done nothing but help them get where they are and so yeah they should step down but unfortunately there is nothing in place to make them step down or fire them or anything like that some of them um are going to be on the seat for a while one of them is going to their term is going to be up in December, but it's really got to be up to them or they got to have a very expensive recall to get rid of the city council members. And so the best thing for them to do would be to step down. But I totally agree with assembly member Isaac Bryant in that that's what it's about. Let's get rid of the black people. Let's talk just like, and so what if George Gascon is with the blacks? What's so wrong with that? Especially since the blacks have been with y'all, you know, but again, that's how they get down. And my father told me a long time ago, I'll never forget. He said that Hispanics, you know, coming over to the United States, they don't want to be the new N word, right? Because that's what they were in the eyes of white supremacy. And so they would do all they need to do to get and just even if it's just right on top of us, they're going to do all they need to do every way, shape or form. And now they are in uh, positions of power, if you will. And they are legislating that way. And so if I was in Los Angeles and I was a constituent, I would want to know, well, what policies have y'all put in place? Because they can do that, right? They, they uh, can enact laws and things like that, being on the city council. What have y'all done that has been anti-black? I would be very interested in knowing. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Make sure you pick up my two books that's in Amazon right now. The first one is Pass Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy. And I talk about in that particular book how the system of white supremacy really runs and on our daily lives here in America. In our latest book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we go through those steps to try to deprogram you uh, from the system of white supremacy. Make sure you can pick up those books on Amazon.com.